Welcome to Shimla, guys. We made it to the mountains, and it's pretty incredible. I'm looking for my hotel. It's about a half hour walk away. So I figure I might as well just hoof it if the map will actually give me real directions. It keeps telling me to turn right and there's no right turn available. This right here is the largest hospital slash medical college in Himachal Pradesh. It's a pretty cool looking building. There's lots of doctors around here and med students and people applying for permits to practice in the region. It's uphill both ways around here. <laughs> okay, I think I found my way. A 30 minute walk has turned into a 45 minute walk because, as you can see, the roads around here aren't exactly set in stone. The map is not very up-to-date, which is nothing new, but uh, it's okay. It's all right. I like walking around here. It's very pretty. It's not super hot. The air is nice and fresh. Oh. I just need to drop this backpack off at my hotel, and then it will be much better. Oh, see, I'm beginning to yell that by Google again. I don't know if y'all can tell how steep this is, but it's pretty rough. <laughs> pretty foggy up here so you can't really see very far. I'm sure it's even worse on camera. For me it looks pretty nice though. Okay, I don't think I'm lost. and I'm not sweaty from the heat, I'm sweaty from the consistently uphill route here. <laughs> I was hoping to myself, oh no. I was hoping that, Chris, you get a break from being sweaty for a little while now that you're up in the mountains and you have some nice cool temperature. Boy, was I wrong. These houses are really, really cool. I think they're called Havelis up here in the Himalayas. Really cool apartments stacked all the way up the hills. Oh, that's a good view of them. Check these ones out.
Oh, I don't think I'm lost anymore. Google is saying that there are roads that do exist that don't exist, and roads that don't exist that do exist. They need to send the the maps car up here. <laughs> oh dang. That's an even cooler view. Okay, turn right. I think I'm 10 minutes out. Hello, sir, how are you? I think this would be a good place to hitchhike up and down these mountains. Lots of people going up and down. I should have hitchhiked from the bottom. I would have saved myself a lot of leg work over here. I've never hitchhiked before, so I'm not really used to just sticking my thumb out and asking for a ride. Though I'm sure people would be more than happy to let me join them if they're already on their way up. Said, slight right onto Forest Hill Road. Well, <laughs> it's a forest hill, but I wouldn't call it a road. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Hopefully, Forest Hill Road is this way. That's Forest Hill Road. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> I'm not a bear, so. I don't know if this was a good idea to book a hotel up here. Taxis around here are pretty pricey. The uh, supply and demand going on is really knocked the price up a few notches as opposed to the big cities. Okay, I think I finally made it after what I believe is nearly an hour of walking. Thanks Google, 32 minutes my ass. I am not far. Ooh, it ain't looking good guys. It ain't looking good. Have I been misled yet again? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna trust it. Maybe it doesn't work out. I'm gonna flag down some help. Cause I don't have cell service here. I can't call the hotel and like, hey, give me directions. And even with directions, I don't know what he's talking about. I mean, there's no road signs around here. There's one road sign every three forks in the road, so. 
Okay, I see a building. I think this is it. Yes, I have made it, boys and girls. Your destination is on the left. Thank you, Google. You have done me well today. Alrighty. I think that's the end of this one. Peace out.